This video is to demonstrate how to verify the output of an anesthetic vaporizer using the Riken FI21 gas analyzer. We've set up a Versa 2 anesthesia machine with a Tech 3 EX vaporizer. This is the Riken FI21 gas analyzer which includes a 6 inch Teflon tube with quick connects, a calcium chloride filter, and a 3 foot Teflon tube with a quick connect and a gas sampling T. We will also be using the Riken gas scavenging kit which includes a 5 foot quarter inch silicone tube with 19 millimeter tubing teed in to connect to the clean air canister. First, we will attach the Riken gas scavenging kit to the clean air canister as shown. It is important to note that the canister should either be suspended or laid on its side so that the gases that are not absorbed can flow through the bottom portion of the canister. Next, we need to remove the male end cap from the outlet side of the vaporizer and attach the gas sampling T. Make sure the T is snug inside the manifold to keep any anesthetic gases from escaping. Then we will attach the 19 millimeter tube to the 15 millimeter side of the gas sampling T as shown. If it is difficult to get to the outlet side of the vaporizer to remove the end cap, another option is to connect to the fresh gas outlet using the other side of the gas sampling tee, the 15 millimeter tapered side, and attach it as shown. Next, we will remove the black protective caps from the calcium chloride filter. and attach the 6 inch Teflon tube to one side, make sure it locks, and then attach the 3 foot Teflon tube to the other side and also make sure that it locks into place with the quick connects. We are now ready to turn on the Riken FI21 gas analyzer. In order to do this, we will press down on the air cal enter button while pressing the power button. Notice the unit will beep and it will go through a few couple of screens to verify that everything is working properly. And if you'll notice now the select gas is highlighted. Select enter and isofluorine in O2 up here and that is the anesthetic gas and carrier gas that we will be using to verify this vaporizer. Please note if you would like to select another anesthetic agent or carrier gas you can do that by arrowing up or down to get to the gas that you will be verifying. Now we will select enter again. Is setting OK? Yes. Enter again. And we arrow down to start measure. We then select enter. Arrow down to start measure. Enter again. And now we hit the pump button. This is to perform an air cal 
and the number has stabilized at 1.54 and is critical to make sure that the number has stopped and stabilized at a number before ending the pump. As you can tell the number stabilized so we will cancel the pump and the number comes up to 1.65 which is exactly what we want. We can now press enter if for some reason the number was off by one or two points we can actually hold down the enter key the unit will beep and 1.65 will appear. In order to see all the air cal values you can open the flap in front of the Riken and there are the air cal numbers for each anesthetic agent. We will now connect the gas sampling line to the Riken. Make sure the connection locks in place and as you'll notice the gas in is on the right hand side of the Riken FI-21 if you're facing the front of it. We will now connect the scavenging tube to the port labeled gas out. If you'll notice there are two ports, one is reference out and the other is gas out. It is important to connect to the gas out on this particular unit. It is now time to turn the oxygen source on to the anesthesia machine. Give it a couple of good turns so that way there's plenty of oxygen flowing through the manifold. And as you can see we're about just under half full. So always make sure there's enough oxygen to complete the verification of the vaporizer. With the Riken FI-21 still on after completing the air cal, we will now turn the oxygen flow meter to two and a half liters of flow, the vaporizer to one percent. We will make sure the fill cap is tight and the drain stem is tight and we'll observe that to make sure that the anesthetic level is at least half full before performing the verification. We are now ready to check the output. We will press the pump button, allow the numbers to stabilize. This may take a few seconds. And we're just about slowed down, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.83. So we will now turn the pump off. And our reading is 0.99%. We will record that. We also want to make sure we record the serial number and the model of the vaporizer. We will now advance the vaporizer to 2%. push the pump key once again waiting for our numbers to stabilize One point eight four and eight five eight six. We will now push the pump button to turn it off and record at two point oh four percent. We 
We will now advance the vape dial again to three. Push the pump button. And they stabilize. Push the pump. We'll push the pump button again. Turn it off. And we are at 2.95 percent. We'll record that number. Advance the dial to 4 percent. Push the pump button. And the numbers have stabilized around 3.8384. We'll push the pump button again to off and record the number of 4.01%. Four point eight two eight three four, and we will turn the pump off. Okay, and our number is five point zero three percent. Record that.